Hi, Nava Barkekari again. I'm going to talk to you in this three minute video about travel once more. I mentioned how you can get started on your world travels by taking a few guided tours. In this case, I'm going to talk about the next step where you're going to get the air and the hotel from some travel company or with perhaps a airline vacation package. But then the remaining part of the exploring the city would be on your own. To book just consult travel companies' websites, just uh, such, such as the one that I mentioned earlier, um, you know, gate1.com, travel.com, uh, that has similar like independent vacations. Look for those words. Those will be things that you're going to be on your own. At the point when you're booking, often whether it's a airline vacation package or, in this case, from Gate One, they would offer you options, you know, of where the locations of the hotel happen to be. In this case, like for instance, you can see that the star is the location of the hotel. Just make sure that you know from your your little bit of review of the maps of the city, the location that they're proposing is not too off out of the way and not too inconvenient. Uh, you'd want it to be somewhat convenient for all the sites. So typically they are, so there's no problem there. Now after you have done this step, of course you're going to be left with uh, what to do in the city and uh, where you're on your own and the airport to hotel transfer, etc. Uh, many for the airport to hotel, you can consider public transportation because. Uh, many cities have pretty good option for either taking a train or subway or bus to get to the city center. And the hotels are typically in convenient locations that you don't have to maybe walk not far from the, you know, where the bus or train station stops. So you could consider that as an option. Going around the city is a similar way. There's probably tram or bus or, I would say not bus, but tram and maybe subway. There's options like that you can take that. And many of the cities are quite compact, these old cities, so you can walk around yourself. Now, as far as the sightseeing, um, I would say that you might want to consider something like a half a day tour from one of the local you know, tour companies that takes you around on the bus and shows you everything. That might be a good starter you know, approach to getting acquainted with the city. And uh, make an itinerary, like every day, make it one half, morning, afternoon, and put some events in each one with time for lunch, time for dinner, uh, but don't pack too much, of course, you know, because you could get overwhelmed if you do try to do too much in, uh, in, one, in one visit. So do just what's possible, basically. And, uh, of course, for restaurants, you can look up on tripadvisor.com or search the web and, uh, you know, make a list of things you want to try. And then go ahead and try it out, and then when you come back, you can always post your own reviews to let all of us know how you enjoyed the visit and what you like most about the trip. So I have already done so on some of the cities and I'm going to discuss more details in the future. But for now, I hope you can plan and begin exploring some cities on your own. Thank you.